and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be working on Jumping Jiminy. This is our little spider and it's a lot of fun, especially for kids, and it's made out of a gourd. So we're going to get started and create him. We're going to start with a mini bottle gourd and you want to make sure it kind of has one that looks like a head and a body and it's not real long or anything and it's a nice size that you can use. Cut off the stem and sand any of that down and then go ahead and paint it black and go ahead and seal it and then we're going to work on his legs now I want him a little bit longer than halfway so I didn't do them um, didn't I went ahead and used four instead of two if you only wanted to use two pipe cleaners instead of four and cut them in half you can there's nothing wrong with that and then I'm going to go ahead and take my pipe cleaners and I kind of want to find the middle and twist them just a time or two right in the middle. I got one just a little bit shorter but that's okay. And then I'm going to decide what color of legs I want on him and I'm going to put those on first and I'm using fluorescent orange pony beads and I'm going to do mine in Halloween colors and if you're doing them for kids or with the kids I found out a lot of times instead of the colors for the theme kids almost prefer like their favorite colors like if it's a little girl blue or pink or purple if it's a boy he might you know, prefer blue or red or so just kind of think about that as well so I've got those on and I'm going to see about how far I want to bring those legs out to bend them kind of the first time. So I'm going to bend it right about there. And I'm going to do that on all four of those the first time through. Let's see where that is in relation to the ones across from it. and bend those. I've also seen the spiders done with the pom-poms in case you didn't have pipe cleaners or excuse me gourds. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put tacky glue and glue our first set of beads on just right there before that little crook in his legs and we put the beads on beforehand so that we can don't have to go up over that crook and we can get them on. Now just kind of put those beads up on that glue. And that glue will hold in place. And your tacky glue should dry clear so you shouldn't have to worry about it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to bend his little leg part. And then we're going to do the same thing with the glue. Pony beads on. Like I said, this is great for the kids. There's so much they can do. Okay, now that we've got them all on, and you can stand them up and get them going all the right direction and everything, play with that a little bit more. And if you had a pom-pom, he'd probably be able to stand on his own. So, get 
those all the way direction you want them to go. And what I'm also going to do is see where I want to put his little eye screw in. And I'm actually going to move it back a little bit because I want it to be more in the middle, not quite up front, so he'll hang more evenly. And these are little hand drills, and we do sell these. And this is where they come in really, really nice, and they have two sets of drill bits in them. And you just want to get that big enough that you can start the screw ice screw I I screw <laughs> excuse me that in there and get that in nice and tight all right so we've got that guy in and then what we're gonna do is wherever he is we're going to hot glue and this would be the only part that you'd want to make sure that you probably do anything with the hot glue gun and we're going to lay whatever direction you think that's easier to put on our legs right on to our spider and he's beginning to look like a spider Now, I'm going to go ahead and give him a little bit of a face here. I'm going to give him a little smile. And you can paint his eyes on or you can put the wiggly eyes. And I'm going to use the wiggly plastic eyes. But I am going to give him a smile here. We're just going to put that on with white acrylic paint. off center but that's okay it kind of gives him character and I'm gonna go ahead and glue his eyes on you don't glue plastic eyes on with a hot glue gun because you will melt the plastic so we're gonna put the eyes on with our tacky glue if you know how to do it you can do it with the low setting but that's a little bit touchy so on my other one I had these colored eyes and I thought they were really really cute but I couldn't find any orange ones and so we've got those on and another thing is if you want to add some more I've got glue gun some more kind of expression to him you could do so by making him little eyebrows eyebrows add a lot of expression to the face you could even do a little bit of a cheek you can get as creative as you want to there you could even do a little bit of eyelashes but now we're just getting crazy. So we're going to let him sit for just a minute and we're going to come over and we're going to work on our stick. And this is a dowel and I painted it black. So just any size dowel that you have or you want. And I took different size ribbons and I wanted to match his legs. And the other one I used green and this one I'm going to use black and orange. And we're just going to kind of divide them in half and do as many or as few of those as you want. I also had kind of a little other little thing tube mesh tube guy and I'm going to tie these with my wire and right in the middle of them and make this nice and tight. And we're going to put this onto our stick and what I'm going to do on this guy is I'm going to take some of my spider rings you can get your spider wings 50 in a thing at the dollar store. And I'm 
and I glued some spiders on it as well. I use the spiders and the bats a whole lot in my Halloween crafts. And I'm just going to put one on each side just to give it that extra little kind of spooky feeling. So I'm going to put one higher and one lower. I think maybe we'll put one up on top when we get done with our stick. We'll see. On this side. So we've got that on there. Now we're going to take it over to our we're going to go ahead and wrap our ribbon and we're just cleaning all those edges up and we're just going to tuck that in and hot glue that on and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put an orange spider up on top him up there just to make him nice and fun and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our elastic string and you don't my last one I think I made a little bit too it really stretches so you really want a lot less than you probably think you want so probably right about there is good. Depends on how far you want him to jump up and down. And we're just going to do a double knot. You could put some glue on that to even hold that a little tighter. But there we've got him. So these are our cute little Jumpin' Jiminy spiders. And I think the kids will have a lot of fun with these at Halloween time. So just take what we've taught you today. Have fun with it. We'd love to see what you come up with. Please share it with us on Facebook. Or you could also sh uh, email it to us at art at Thank you. God bless.